imagine a world where expressing yourself in english is effortless where conversation flows naturally where language barriers have no existence if this is the world you aspire to you are in the right place hello everyone this is priyanka choudhury and welcome to my channel today in this video i am going to share with you six mind blowing tips that will surely help you to improve your english language skills before proceeding further i would request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any english learning content in future without any further ado let's dive into the video so tip number 1 is discovering your unique learning style you know what we must know our learning style i mean what actually suits best for us which method we should choose for learning this is really important if you would like to embark on this uh, journey of learning this language you must be clear about your learning style you know why is it important as i just said it is going to make your entire process of learning this language quite easy enjoyable and interesting at the same time besides this you will be motivated throughout this entire process of learning this language it is it, it is also going to help you to memorize things to retain things for a long time period why is it so because you will be following your unique way of learning the language or anything for that matter apart from this it will also help you to learn faster you are going to accelerate your process of learning along with this you will also not be feeling frustrated why is it so as i just said because you will be following your unique way of learning now i have talked a lot about your unique way of learning or learning style now let's understand that how many kind of learning styles are there so there are four different ways of learning visual learning auditory learning reading and writing and the fourth one is kinesthetic learning now visual learners are those learners who learn anything by visualizing things means by watching so let's say in your case you want to learn this language all right and you understand better when you watch something on your phone on tv screen or anywhere so you understand better when you watch something then in this case you are a visual learner now if i talk about auditory learners so auditory learners and learning styles that style where you learn by listening to some things like a uh, podcast or you learn something by listening to lectures or you join let's say any english speaking classes and from there you only understand when you listen to people speaking all right so if this is the case with you then you are an auditory learner now reading and writing so there are some people who understand better or who acquire a uh, knowledge better when they read something when they read the stuff the textbooks and when they write down their thoughts and ideas then they actually uh, retain a lot okay so if this is the case with you then you are reading or writing you have this unique style of uh, learning anything reading and writing and here comes kinesthetic learning so kinesthetic learning is that learning when you involve yourself when you put yourself in that situation in that practical situation so these type of learners actually follow the practical way of learning anything so this is called kinesthetic learning style so these learners are those i mean when you put yourself in the actual conversation when you will actually start involving yourself in talking to people then you are going to understand learning this language better so if this is the case with you then you are a kinesthetic learner and you have this particular way of learning style the second tip i have for you is speak english every day start incorporating your learnings in your everyday life you know what this is the most effective and the fastest way of improving any language skills when you are going to incorporate your learnings into speaking every day you never know and you have no idea that when you are going to see the drastic changes in your language skills trust me so start speaking every day no matter what the topic is stop thinking too much about your mistakes about the sentence formation a lot and focus 
keep your entire focus on just expressing yourself all right so start speaking every day now if you want to have a conversation that should be very smooth engaging impressive and effective then you need to boost your vocabulary here is the third tip expand your vocabulary if you are going to work on your vocabulary if you are going to improve your vocabulary then trust me you are not going to face any problems like this and you will be confident as well expressing yourself now how can you work learning vocabularies here you can see this and here are some tips that will help you to improve your vocabulary start reading besides this start using some vocabulary learning apps and use words of the day website create a word list start using dictionary play word games learn the roots of the words learn some related words like care with the word care you can use careful careless caring there are so many words start making sentences use flash cards and mnemonics for learning use words in conversation you can even start writing an essay and you can use this website as well for learning use vocabularypage.com and the tip number 4 is join english classes or english conversation nowadays it is not at all difficult and it is not at all time consuming to join english classes i mean those days are gone when you had to actually cover a lot of distance and you had to go to the particular institute and english coaching uh for learning this language right today is the time when you can just be at your place and you can just sign up you can enroll yourself in that english class and you can start learning this language if you are going to do this this is going to help you this is going to benefit you in so many ways now why let me tell you first there you want to you are going to get an english speaking environment where everybody like you will be speaking in english besides this you are going to get a lot of opportunities to speak like you know what when we actually join english class there we are under the expert guidance right there we are actually each and every individual is given the chance to speak besides this it is also going to benefit you in other ways like structured learning regular practice access to resources and personalized feedback and a lot more other things so if you are a person who cannot practice speaking or learning this language alone then i would advise you to go and enroll yourself in english classes and the next tip i have for you is improve your pronunciation work on the pronunciation of the words if you want to improve your english language skills pronunciation actually plays a significant role in mastering the language it is something that is going to make your speech more clear and confident you know what the first impact that actually influences the listeners is pronunciation pronunciation actually pronunciation is that much important that if you are not uh, good at pronouncing the words if there if you have poor pronunciation then it is going to be a barrier in understanding between you and the people you are talking to and you do not want this right i mean we all people who want to speak english who want to learn any other language do not want any barriers in our conversation in our communication right so that's the reason you need to work on your pronunciation now for your convenience i'm going to share with you some tips that you can actually follow to work on your pronunciation while you are practicing alone when you are practicing speaking english alone you can start recording your voice you can even start recording your video and after recording you can figure it out that where but you actually mispronouncing the words and try to work on your issues work on your pronunciation problems and you can even start uh, copying you can even start imitating the native english speakers so start watching uh, the videos of native english speakers and start imitating them pay attention to the stress the intonation and the sound that they are producing while speaking and there are some tongue twisters as well that are also going to help you to improve your pronunciation slow down your speech whenever you speak fast there are higher chances of mispronouncing the words so this is the problem that you need to fix slow down while you are speaking 
Besides this, you can even start singing songs that will also help you to pronounce the words correctly. Now, let's move on to the next tip. And this is embrace your mistakes. Don't make a mistake of being afraid to make a mistake. We actually learn from making mistakes. So if you just keep thinking about your mistakes and that's the reason you're not speaking, this is the mistake that you're actually making of not speaking. We, most of the times, I mean, how will you learn if you are not going to make mistakes? How will a child start walking if the child will never fall? Are you getting my point? This is really important. Mistake, making mistakes actually takes you to another level of speaking, takes you to another level of uh, your ambition, right? So when you will not fail in any, in any field, then you are not going to move further, right? So just stop thinking about your mistakes. So just don't fear errors. They are stepping stones to success. So everybody has uh, experienced this. Everybody has faced failures in their life. And this is just about learning a language. So just do not stress yourself a lot by thinking about your mistakes too much. Just go ahead, just come out of the comfort zone and start speaking, embrace your mistakes. And that's it for today's video. So I hope these all six steps are going to help you to improve your English language skills. Please let me know in the comment section which out of these six you are really going to try after watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.